Hello, I'm Eric Branion, VP of F-35 Air System Development, here to introduce the first quarter 2009 program update. Key accomplishments during this quarter include getting 99% of our original drawings released, evaluating the Stovall structural integrity in our labs here in Fort Worth, and sending the CTOL test article over to the UK, having 70% of the software accomplished, and evaluating that on our 737 Cooperative Avionics testbed. All these are key accomplishments to meet the challenge of standing up Eglin Air Force Base for the first pilot and maintainer training starting in 2010. In the first quarter of 2009, F-35 production and flight testing have soared, beginning with the rollout of the first F-35 equipped with mission systems and culminating with the first U.S. Marine to pilot an F-35. On January 21st, the first F-35 equipped with mission systems, known as BF-4, rolled out of the factory, a milestone that will lead to the first avionics testing on board an F-35 aircraft. Mission systems, or avionics, are the onboard sensors that enable the aircraft to receive battle space information, as well as track and target adversaries from long ranges. The F-35 has the most powerful and comprehensive mission systems package of any fighter that has ever flown. Representing an unprecedented milestone in integrated avionics testing and risk reduction is the cooperative avionics test bed, known as Catbird. The Catbird will test the entire F-35 integrated sensor suite. Catbird test missions, which last up to four hours each, are flown from Fort Worth and from deployed locations. On February 24th, AA-1 opened the doors to its twin weapon bays during the aircraft's 70th flight. The successful test marked the first airborne cycling of the doors. This paves the way for qualifying the great variety of weapons that will be carried on the F-35. The next day, on February 25th, the program achieved another milestone. The second F-35B, BF-2, achieved its first flight in Fort Worth. BF-2 joins a conventional takeoff and landing F-35A and another Stovall F-35B that already have logged a combined total of more than 90 test flights. BF-2 is expected to deploy to Naval Air Station Patuxent River, Maryland later this year. At Patuxent River, BF-2 will explore the performance boundaries of the F-35 Stovall variant. Pax River will serve as the primary site for all F-35B and F-35C flight testing. In preparation for its first vertical landing this summer at Pax River, BF-1 moved to the hover pit in March to begin testing to prove the aircraft's vertical thrust threshold. A highlight of the period was the first flight of Major Joseph O.D. Bachman, the first U.S. Marine pilot to fly the F-35. Bachman logged the flight test program's 90th mission on March 19. Bachman is the second active duty service member to fly the F-35. His first flight was in F-35 AA-1, a conventional takeoff and landing variant with controls and flying qualities essentially identical to the short takeoff vertical landing F-35B. The F-35B will be the Marine's primary fighter and will provide a unique combination of capabilities. Stealth, supersonic speed, Stovall basing flexibility, and network-enabled mission systems. Inside the manufacturing facilities, eight of 19 SDD jets have already been delivered and aircraft are moving off the assembly line at a rate of about one per month, a pace that continues to gather speed. In Fort Worth, the first F-35 destined for a U.S. Air Force training squadron, AF-6, is in production. The conventional takeoff and landing F-35A will begin flying later this year and will be delivered to the Air Force in 2010. On January 30th, both Pratt & Whitney and the GE Rolls-Royce fighter engine team celebrated milestones. 
Pratt & Whitney delivered flight test engine 06 on schedule to the Fort Worth plant for installation into F-35 BF-1. The on-time delivery and installation were critical to meet a March milestone to begin hover pit testing prior to airborne transitions to Stovall mode flight. GE Rolls-Royce began testing its first production configuration F-136 engine a month ahead of contract schedule at GE's test facility in Evandale, Ohio. Prototype versions of the F-136 have already accumulated more than 800 hours of testing, while more F-136 engines will begin testing later in the year. At the close of the first quarter, the U.S. government awarded a $265 million contract to prepare for the production of 28 additional F-35 Lightning II fighters in the fourth lot of low-rate initial production. Three F-35 carrier variants that were removed from the buy earlier in the year have been restored and will be reinserted into LRIP-4. An additional Stovall variant for the United Kingdom is also planned, bringing the expected LRIP-4 total to 32 aircraft. Each aircraft that now rolls off the assembly line fulfills a unique verification objective and moves the program closer to customers' initial operational capability dates. This video and the latest news on the F-35 program can also be found at LockheedMartin.com. Thank you for watching this quarter's F-35 team update.